Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming another <laughs> Colourpop lipstick video. This is on the Lu Colourpop Luxe Velvet lipsticks. I've got a whole bunch. I've heard you guys telling me you love Colourpop reviews. You guys want to see more product reviews. So I am taking one for the team. Made two big orders. I have all sorts of products to review, review for you guys. Lipsticks, eyeshadow palette, foundations, a tinted moisturizer, the eyeshadow sticks. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Before I take this off, the lipstick that I'm currently wearing is the Lippy Sticks in the shade Like Magic. 100% of the net profits of this collection will be donated to the Pull Up For Change Small Business Impact Fund. Now this is my second lip swatch video that I'm filming in a row. I'm hoping my lips aren't stained. Three, six, seven, eight. Okay, well eight. First up, we have this one, which is the shade Casual Dress. Ooh, this is really nice and it's super literally like moussey, velvety. I don't believe these dry, right? So they're just gonna stay like this, but we'll say this is a really nice formula. Like she's very velvety, moussey. Creamy. I would describe this as like a velvet mousse and it's actually really nice on my lips especially because I've gone through like eight, three, six, eight, eight, nine different lipsticks just before my previous swatch video so it's kind of really nice on the lips. So yeah, big big fan. Once again this is the shade Casual Dress. Next up we have this one which is the shade Can You Even. So if you're wondering why I'm looking down here, I have a mirror here. Is it me or is this like my lips color? Color but a little bit lighter I think maybe? Or more even. I do really like this color and yeah when I put it on it just kind of reminded me of what my lips looked like previously so maybe that is kind of ironing pimples as close to my shade as it kind of could be. Big fan of this one too. They're very nice and easy to wear, easy to apply, really creamy, don't drag along your lips. And I've been through a lot of lipsticks in my previous swatch videos, so my lips are kind of like really raw and unhappy with me at the moment. But these are really nice and I wouldn't have been able to tell that my lips have gone through a swatch video already. Like nice kind of moisturizing. I don't know how I would wear throughout the day, which is probably something that I should be doing, but at 10 p.m. at night, probably not gonna happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, once again, this is Can You Even. Next up, we have the shade Ingenue. Ingen, oh, I can't say that word. What is it called? Pillowy soft velvet liquid lipstick that creates a soft diffused look. It's a mid-tone pink. Um, I don't, this did not tell me how to pronounce it. Ooh. Is this my lips too? Did I pick up the same shade? I really do like this shade. I like, so far I haven't found a shade I don't like in this range. I think they've just got really good new colors in this line. So yeah, she's a really nice mid-tone pink. I would probably, as always, chuck it with some sore lip liner. Yeah, big big fan. So yeah, once again, this is shade Ingenui, Ingen... I don't know how to say it, but I'll put it on the screen somewhere. <laughs> okay, next up we have the shade Room Service. I think I was just really all about these shades because there's quite a few good ones and I think some were also sold out that I really wanted to try. I feel like this applique, this formula is very forgiving on the lips too. When I put my order through for these, if you guys are planning to get some, then have a look at like the bundles and the sets because some of them I got in like a pack of two and just worked out to be better value. Um, yeah, so this is room service. This one's described as a terracotta nude and yeah, no complaints. I'm just going to spend this whole video saying I like them all, but it is 
a really nice color. It's not too pinky, it's not too brown like it is kind of terracotta. I don't usually love terracotta shades on myself, but this is one that I feel like I could work with slash wear. Yeah, so once again, this is room service. Okay, we've got four down and four to go. I think I should take a break and have some hot water. Next up, we have the shade Get Money. So that's what this looks like. I keep forgetting to like shade guys like this. This one is described as a dip, dip, deep bricky nude. Kind of is, like I feel like it's kind of like a brick brown kind of shade. I will say I don't love this. I do like it. Um, I wouldn't pick this out of my, as my favorite shades. The first four before this I really did like. But yeah, it's not bad. So once again, this is the shade Get Money. Give me feedback on the lighting. What do you guys think of it? Oh yeah, also that was the darkest brown shade and it did kind of stain. So now we're kind of going into the last three shades. So this is kind of more of a pink called Fatale. I'm not quite sure. This is described as a peony, peony pink. That's what that looks like. Ooh. Okay, my lips are kind of starting to hurt now after the wiping away so many lipsticks. I feel like I kind of like how this looked in the, in, the, in the tube and it is a pretty color but it's not something that I personally love for myself. It's not one that I would really reach for. I'm kind of more of like a, I love my nude lipsticks, I love my browns but like lighter browns. Um, I like reds but pink so much like it's not something that I would always kind of like gravitate towards or grab. But it is a really pretty shade and I know there's a lot of you guys out there that would like this. So yeah, this is Fatale. I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah. Next up, this looks really nice, is the shade Southbound. And that's what that looks like. Ooh. I also like berry shades, like really dark berry purples. This is giving me nostalgia, like, I don't know what it is. Something reminds me of like vanilla liquid lipsticks. Even though I don't think it's, it's not scented vanilla. She is a really pretty shade. Um, It's definitely a bit darker in a person than it is in front of these lights. I do like it, however, not a not a fave fave. I think I was more impressed by I'm just gonna blend out my laugh lines. I think I was more impressed by the nudes in this line, but she is a really nice shade. Once again this is the shade Southbound. Yeah so anyways lastly we have the shade Er Hermosa Hermosa? Hermosa I think that's how you say it. Oofed I really like this shade already. It's just so dark. I'm just gonna add some more on. I will say that it's always with the darker shades. Yeah, it's not looking like how it does in person on the video. Like in the video, it looks like it's a red, but it's kind of more dark, plummy, with some purple in it. Let me just see how you would, um, how they describe this to give you guys a better idea. It's a deep 
plum shade. If you guys are wanting to get the shade or even the ones that I mentioned that don't look 100% like they do in person then I would say have a look at a few different YouTube videos and see the swatch comparisons and see how it like swatches on different skin tones, different lighting and then form an opinion on that because I feel like because I have to film with artificial lighting it isn't showing up as true as it could be and there's not much I can do about it because if I turn these off then you guys will really see what it looks like. It's too dark to go outside. It's 10 p.m. But anyways, long story short, do really like this shade. I would say that have a look at a few different YouTube videos to get a better idea of um, what this really looks like. And yeah, once again, this is shade Hermosa. <laughs> also, they haven't gotten my tea, which is really good. So yeah, once again, this is shade Hermosa. And I am done. I am thin. Alright, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos every single week. I'm aiming to upload every single Friday and Sunday, so you can expect to see more videos if you subscribe. And yeah, also click the bell notification because I watched a Creator Academy course with a whole bunch of videos on YouTube and they said if you subscribe to someone you won't always see the video in your subscription feed, like YouTube doesn't show you all of them unless you click, you click the bell and select all notifications. So I'll put like a, a screenshot of it here. That's pretty much it. I'll be replying to all comments in the first 24 to 48 hours and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone! To, oh wait, I need to hide this because I haven't um, blended into my ear. Yeah, that's the end of the bit. Uh, trying to be productive tonight. Like, super productive. Be, be productive. I haven't even opened these. Fudge. Oh yeah. Oh dang it. Are these liquid love sticks? Oh, my lips are screwed. I'm not mad about it. Not mad about it. Be productive. Be be productive. Be productive. Be be productive. Bye guys.